Hello, amazing people, and welcome to my lunchtime live. Okay, so don't ask me how I'm going live. Keep that between me and you. <laughs> Happy Monday, amazing people. It's an amazing day. Let me tell you, it's amazing. Did I cut the notifications off? Probably not. Probably not. Come on in. Bring your lunch, your Sally, your McDonald's, whatever. Whatever you got going on. Let me turn these notifications off and put my do not disturb on. So they don't disturb us during lunchtime live. Okay, so listen. Today's live, I hope y'all ready. It's going to be deep. Make sure um y'all share it. Make sure y'all tag people. This is going to be deep. This is going to be deep for the people that um, have been hurt, have been bullied online, have been just going through so many different things. I'm about to bring, I'm about to bring y'all out today. I can't see no, okay, so maybe in the white comment, I'm like, I can't see no comments. Did I swipe them? No, I didn't swipe them. There they go. There they go. Hey! Hey, Eric. Hey, Karen. Hey, Brian. Hello. How are y'all? Okay, hold on. My, my lunchtime live pop right up. Let me share the lunchtime live, y'all. Um, okay. I see y'all. She like, we here. I see y'all. All right. We're going um, we to get, get into it today. So, um, in my memories today, right, you know, you have memories on, on, on Facebook. Let me put this up straight a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's a better angle right there. You know, you have memories on Facebook. So I popped up, you know, in my memories and I'm reading through my memories just to see like what I was talking about last year, how I've grown, you know, how far I've come. So let me see something. Okay, so it popped up um, in my memories when I posted, when I got my GED. I was so proud. I think I got my GED maybe now two, three years ago, I got my GED. So I had posted, I got my GED. So do you know that someone from, from, someone from my city messaged somebody else and was like, that fat B just got her G, just now getting her GED. Oh, so you know what I posted today in memory of the hate? I posted this fat B just graduated college too. Let me tell y'all something. When people that you don't know come for you in that kind of manner, let me explain something to you. You can't take it personal because that person's not happy with themselves because let me tell you something happy people are not worried about coming for people happy people are are not worried about belittling other people they're not worried about bashing other people that's not what what happy people are worried about but then i also had to say you know what let me use this hate as fuel like you know you put gas in your car cuz you got to go places and if you ain't got no gas you can't go nowhere that kind of fuel I said, let me use this. Oh, sorry, y'all. <laughs> and everything else that has been said about me, every attack, let me use all of that and use it as fuel. See, because when people used to talk about me, I would get depressed. I would shut down. And see, that's what the enemy wanted me to do. The enemy wanted me to shut all the way down. So I wouldn't be where I'm at today. So I wouldn't be on these platforms talking about what I'm talking about, wanting to stop me. That is what those attacks are designed to do to you. Those attacks are designed to stop you. Those attacks are designed to discourage you from your purpose. From accomplishing your goals, from seeking out your dreams. Do you un let me tell you something that I ain't come to play today? I ain't come to play today on this lunchtime live. I came to free some people through through my own so-called humiliation. That's what I came to do. Let me tell you something. Don't allow what people say, especially people you don't even know. First of all, 
I don't know you, you don't know me. Why do you sit up and let the things that people that don't know you hurt you in that kind of manner? Why do you let it affect you like that? Now, that's when you seek self and you say, hold up. What do I need to get together inside of myself so these things don't affect me? I can understand what people that you love, related to you, friends, relationship. I can understand how that could affect you. I can't understand how someone that you don't know can affect you in that kind of way. And that's something I had to learn. I had to look deep inside and say, hold up. Why am I allowing people on social media to affect me in that kind of way? When I start, when I first started motivational speaking and I first started vlogging, let me tell you something. I was called a fat bee. I was called fat everything. I was called a pig. I was called so many different things. Your nose is big. You're ugly. You sound dumb. And at first it stung. It hurt. Like, oh my goodness. Are they talking about me? Why are they trying to um, tear my self-esteem down? But then I had to think about it. Nobody can tear my self-esteem down. Nobody can change the way that I feel and think about myself. Can nobody do that? Can nobody do that? At all. Don't allow anyone to come in your life and do that. You give people power when you allow them to come in your life that you're the CEO of. You ain't the founder, but you the CEO, baby. That you the CEO of. And make you think how they want you to think. Move how they want you to move. Shut down your dreams and your goals. Bring your self-esteem down here. Bring your worth down here. Oh, I know y'all ain't giving people power like that. Because, baby, let me say you something. I did it. And then I stopped doing it. Because I had to realize who I was. I had to step back and say, hold up. I'm Shalakemia. I don't know who they think they playing with. But, baby, I know who I am. I know my worth. Whatever you got to say about me, baby, let me say something. It ain't nothing but a reflection of how you truly feel about yourself. Because happy and successful people, people that have peace, baby, ain't sitting up doing all that. They're not doing that. They're not sitting up attacking somebody's features. They're not doing that. They're not belittling people. They're not doing that. They might speak the truth. But baby, they're not personally attack coming and attacking you to tear down your self-esteem or to bring your worth down. No, no, baby, you're worth it. Oh, nobody told you in 2021, you worth it. You amazing. And baby, whoever don't see it ain't supposed to. Period, point blank. Let me tell you something. Whoever don't see that you amazing, whoever don't see that you a blessing, Whoever don't see you an asset, ain't supposed to see it because they ain't supposed to be a part of your life. Oh, I said what I, I said. what I said, And you can tell them I said it. They don't see your worth. They don't value you. They don't think you're amazing. They don't see you're amazing. Because they ain't supposed to see it. The people that are supposed to see you amazing, going to tell you you're amazing. The people that know you worth it going to tell you you worth it, baby. You understand that? I got to bring y'all back up here today. Because some people was down here before they got on this live. You understand? It's some people that are allowing other people to um to have, have you question who you are. You don't allow nobody to... to Type your name in the comments right now. Type your name in the comments right now. I can see the comments going on the computer, but I can't see the comments going on the live. That's okay. Type type your name in the comments right now. Karen, Eric, Brian. Do you know who you are? Everybody watching, do you know who you are? Since you said yes, you know who you are. Why are you allowing people to have power over you? 
people you don't know, and people you do know. No one is supposed to have that kind of power over you to where to where your self esteem is messed with. And so you you questioning your worth, you questioning who you are, you questioning the things that you can accomplish. Nobody from this day forward, nobody will have power over you. I don't care what they say about you. Baby, they could have bought abuse to smoke crack. I don't care. They could bring up you used to be an alcoholic. I don't care. They could bring up you used to be fat. You fat now. I don't care. They could say you dark skin. They could say you broke. I don't care what they say about you. Those things that you went through make you better. They're not for nobody to hold over your head. That's something you walked through and you got through. Whatever you did. Whatever it was, that's something you walked through and you got through and you a whole different person now. The miserable people, the known and the unknown, trying to come and remind somebody who they used to be. Why are you back there? Because I ain't back there no more. I'm not back there no more. Why are you back there though? Why are you going? Who got time? I see y'all Ryan and Peyton. Who got time? They're going to dig some miles of skeletons up. That's how you know people's not on your level, baby. You understand? That's how you know people aren't on your level. What you digging up my dirt for? I buried that. I've grown from that. I'm not that person no more. You can't, you can't identify me with that no more. You can't do that. Stop letting people do that. Stop letting people have power. People will try to have power over you in so many different ways. Listen, rebuke that power. Get get away from that. People shouldn't want to come in your life and have power over you. They should come in your life and want to love you and appreciate you, empower you. When people try to come and bring up who you used to be or something about you now, they're trying to make you powerless. You understand? Powerless. Never allow nobody's words, actions, what they think of you, make you powerless. I need you to take your power back today. You understand that? Oh, I've, I've given my power. I, I've given my power to people. Oh, I came to tell the truth today. I've given my power to people. I've let people have power over me. And who I, and, and who, and listen, listen, baby, they didn't just have power over me. They had power over the way I think, the way I was thinking, the way I was moving. Don't let nobody have that kind of power over you. Realize it. Ain't nothing wrong with realizing, like, hold up. I've given this person power over me. I, this person's controlling the way I think about myself, the way I move. Got me questioning my worth and my vibe. The people that's for you, ain't gonna, they ain't going to move like that. They ain't moving like that. They always want you to know who you are. They want you to know you amazing. You understand that they want you, they want you to know that they love you and they care about you and they cherish you and they don't want to lose you. But people that aren't for you, the un the known and the unknown, they want you to be powerless. You know why? Before I go. Before I go. Because they don't want you to know who you are. They don't want you to know what you're capable of. When they said, oh, that fat B just now getting her GED. Well, baby, why are you keeping up with me? When, I, when was I supposed to get it? Oh, okay. Because I'm on God's time. I'm not on nobody that walked this earth time. I'm on God's time. If he wanted me to have it when everybody else had it, he would have gave it to me when he gave it to everybody else. I got it in my time. You understand? Period. That's another thing. 
Don't watch nobody else's plate. Watch yours. Oh, I was taught that a long time ago. Baby, I'm going to watch my own plate. Because watching somebody else's plate is going to distract me from what I got to do. And where I got to be. And what I got to say. If I would have watched some, if I would have been watching somebody else's plate, I wouldn't be in front of y'all right now. There's too many people watching your plate though. And you don't even understand it. Because I've been there where I was so depressed. And I was so and I was so down. And and I didn't know myself and I didn't love myself. And I felt like I was just so fat and I was so disgusting. Because that's what people was calling me. Fat and disgusting, baby. I was my mental health was all messed up. It was only messed up because I had somewhere to be. When I was messed up, people were still watching my play. Well, why would you want to watch the depressed girl that tried to commit suicide that had a baby at 16 years old that don't got no education? Well, why would you watch my play, baby? The one that went through domestic violence at 15 years old. Spent some time in foster group homes. Why would... They got the brain tumor. Why y'all watching? Why y'all watching me? I'm confused. You know why they watching you? <laughs> Cause they see greatness in you. Oh, and you ain't even see it in yourself. I didn't even see it at myself that time. I didn't even want to live. I was like, oh God, don't like me. He loved everybody. I seen blessing everybody else. God love everybody but Shalakemia. Oh, I, oh, oh, God don't love me. I don't want to be here no more. He don't love me. You want to take me through all this stuff. You want me to just keep on suffering. Oh, he don't like me. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to take this bottle of pills. I'm going to take myself out. I was doing all that. And people was checking for me. People, people was watching my play. With soup. People was watching my plate with suicide on it. People was watching my plate with a brain tumor on it. That's when you got to sit back and say, why are they watching me? Because you amazing. Because you greatness. Because you a light that shine in a dark place. I didn't even know my own power. I didn't even know it. I didn't know people listened to me. I didn't know it. I remember an old boss, he told me, he said, listen, I need you to know this because God told me to tell you, you light in a dark place. He said, you go in places and you change the mood. He said, when you come to work, I worked at a, a women's halfway house. He said, when you come to work and you having a bad day, the whole house have a bad day. But this is why we need people like this. Understand me today. You need people to speak into your life. You need some people to come and tell you some things you don't notice about yourself out of love, good or bad. I want the people in my life to come to me in love and correct me. Check me. Get me back on my path of purpose. He told me. When you come in here and you having a great day, the whole house having a great day. He said, let me tell you something. I know when you late for work, don't think I'll know when you be late. I'm like, dang, I was only late twice. He said, I'm not worried about you being late. He said, but when you late, I got about 21 phone calls asking where Miss Mia at. Is Miss Mia working today? Your presence is felt. He said your presence is needed. And I'm sitting up here like, dang, I ain't even know all that. Wow. I'm saying that to say, we don't even know the impact that we have on people. We don't even know. We battle on our own thing with inside of us and don't even know the impact that we have on the people that we are supposed to help 
and save. Let me tell you something. It's people looking, looking up to you. You are a mentor to some people. Some people around, they might not tell you, they think you're amazing. The younger generation thinks you're amazing. You're the coolest. They're waiting for you to succeed. To show them how, how success is done. I never knew that about myself. I thought I was just going to work, y'all. I thought I was going to work. But two days before he shared that with me, I said, God, well, all the education I had, because at this time I, I um I was in college. I didn't have a GED. I, I started college before I got the GED. I took um I'm a criminal justice major. So I took a lot of criminal justice classes, you know, things like that. Um, I worked in different areas of criminal justice all throughout. I'm like, God, I got too much education in in um employment background to be at this place working for ten dollars. God, what? I said, listen, God, somebody got me messed up. Cause what am I at this place making ten dollars an hour for? Baby, listen. Someone right. And I felt it. <laughs> and God immediately sent somebody to tell me. You ain't there for the ten dollars. I ain't here for the ten dollars. But what I'm here for? Let what I'm here for. And that's when my boss came and told me that. That's when he came and told me that. I'll never remember. I'll never forget. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was in the office doing paperwork one day and I'm listening to, you know, a sermon because I'm always trying to fill my spirit with positive you know things. And the girls came to the door. They came to the door. They like, oh, Miss Mia, you just want to listen to it by yourself. You don't want us to listen to it. I used to bring my own little Bluetooth to work. You know, they like, oh, you don't want us to listen to it. So I'm looking at them like, y'all go sit down somewhere. I ain't know y'all want to listen to. <laughs> but I, I, I loved all of them. So I, for now on, I bring the Bluetooth speaker in, sitting in the dining room. All the girls be in the dining room. Listening to the sermon, you you never know. You never know whose life you touching. You never know who's looking at you. You don't ever know whose mentor you are and you don't even know. I'm telling you, you got a powerful purpose. Do not allow people to make you powerless over what they say, over what they do. You are a blessing. You are an asset. You are amazing. Do you understand that? Everything's not going to go in the order that it went for somebody else. And that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. You're still amazing. It, even if you don't have no GED and you about to get it, it ain't too late, baby. Even if you want to go back to school, it ain't too late. It ain't too late to start the business. It ain't too um late to write the movie. It ain't too late to write the book. It's not too late. Whatever you want to do, it's not too late. You want to become a motivational speaker, it's not too late. It's not too late to tell your story, it's not too late. I want you to put your head high. And I want you to walk in your purpose like you've never walked before. And you walk past those naysayers when they try to come up and they try to bring up, oh, you used to do this and, oh, I remember when you used to do that. Oh, so you still the same. I'm the only one that changed. I'll take that. But don't let those things stop you. Don't let nothing stop you. Because you got places to be. Greatness awaits you. I love y'all.